Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to Savannah Essence. We are on our scrap series, and today we are making a very simple scrap. That is actually one of my best scraps to make. So the funny thing is that it's a very simple scrap to make, but it's actually a, like like the best to me, kind of like. So it's like I said, it's quite simple, and it's also um uh there's also an advanced formula of this in our scrap making master course that's coming up. And so for those of you interested in that course, you can please sign up for it. Um, but this is how we start. So we basically it's just oils and some emulsifiers and that's all nothing really technical so even if you're a beginner this is a recipe or this is a yeah that's a recipe that you can work with and this is also um a, a scrap that you can easily make especially if you're a beginner it's a very beginner friendly uh scrap and i'll leave the the script the recipes in the description box for those of you who'd be interested in trying this out I uh, also know that our master our master scrub course comes also with uh, 10 free scrub recipes so from the basics all the way to the advanced so for those of you who are interested in the course like i said you can please sign up for it um there's a lot to learn in there we have our normal sugar scrubs we have our coffee scrubs we have our black tea scrubs i mean every form of physical exfoliation that's our bodies need we try to teach it whether it's an emulsified scrub it's a simple scrub that is a foaming scrub you know it's an um emulsified scrub all those ones that you buy out there in the market we teach it here so you can also make it at home or you can make it and add to your skincare line as well so now that we are done measuring all the oils and the butters and the emulsifiers all that i need to do is to melt it down and as like i said it's a simple process um, once it's melted, that's how it looks. It's actually still warm here, um, so I'm just going to stay. Fortunately, the weather is a bit uh, cooler today, so I'm just going to stay. I'm not going to put it in the fridge, and I'll leave it in the open, and then by itself, it will kind of like harden up. And then that that's basically it for its for phase A. And so for phase A, that's actually all that there is to it and um, uh, like i said it's a simple process um so you decide the oils and the butter combinations that you you would want to use i would say that in the course i explain the reasons why we select certain oils and the reasons why you should stay away from certain oils and butters and making your scrubs and also the proportions to make and depending on the weather conditions and where you come from we talk about all those things because it looks like it's simple but there's a lot of reasoning that goes on in selecting the kinds of oils and butters that we select so now we have to add a preservative of course these are all oils so you don't really need a preservative but naturally scrubs are used in the bathrooms and they are used sometimes after bathing or before bathing your, your hands are wet you'll be dipping wet hands into your scrub so you want to ensure that they are preserved so you do not um, grow mold in your containers instead of you know uh, preparing your skin so well, now that i'm done with the oils and butters i've added my um fragrance and i've added my preservative i am now going to begin to add the sugar now this is where subjectivity comes in because i will give you proportions on um, you know in terms of the amount of sugar to add but this this phase phase c is basically subjective the amount of sugar that you need depends on you the kind of scrub you want to make and how you want your scrub to look like so somebody can get to this point and say i'm okay i like the texture i like how it is and that's fine with me okay and then somebody else too can get to maybe uh a next phase and say that's okay with me so for the sugar amount is purely subjective but also we talk about that in detail in the course depending on um on on those who take it and we talk about you know the amounts that are good and the amounts that are good for commercial purposes you know so we talk about all of that so because i'm using this myself i can put my finger and then just test the texture and see if it's okay at this point um it looks okay for me so um i like the texture 
another thing that i would say is that sugar scraps tend to harden with time so when you set it aside or you leave it for a couple of days they will eventually harden so once you start making it it looks like oh it's a soft simple butter um but as you set it aside for some time it will harden and also depending on your weather conditions depending on the proportions of your oils and your butters depending on the amount of sugar you use there's a lots of variables in this case you might make a scrap where you still have the oil floating on top of it because of all these reasons because of weather conditions because of the proportions of your oils and your butters and because of the quantities of your sugar so depending on the texture you are going for or the market appeal of your scrap you need to put that bear that in mind so you see that i'm adding more sugar and more sugar and the oils and the butters keep absorbing the sugar and um you might continue to add more sugar and more sugar and more sugar <laughs> so basically that is it but i like i like the texture as of now so i think i might leave it like this at this point and then you know start with other things so i want to color this up um just to just to give you an idea of you know in case you wanted to add some colorings or you wanted to just juice it up for marketing purposes you see how it looks like so i just want to add some bit of coloring to it this and then you can also have a look at it but this is basically at this point every other thing that we are adding is just for decorative purposes and it's not really impacting the skin in any way but i'm adding turmeric and then some other you know coloring to it as well and so turmeric also has a marketing appeal as well so we talk about that also in the course so if you want to have something so not just making a sugar scrub but you have some added something that makes you stand out in the market and turmeric as of now is one of those very very key botanical powders and uh, ingredients in the market that's really really there's a lot of turmeric extracts um you know out there that we use and for those of us who use turmeric on our skin we've actually seen the benefits on our skin so it's not just like people are saying that turmeric is good turmeric is actually good the only thing is that it stains but apart from that turmeric is actually good for your skin so these are the colors that i'm trying to work on. i'm working around with the yellow and the orange and just to see how it turns out so ladies and gentlemen it's how to make a simple sugar scrub Give it a try and let me know how it will turn out for you. Okay? All right. Now, in terms of texture, like I said, this will add enough, but um, I would have still added more sugar because it, it looks a bit too light. So at this point, you can continue to add more sugar. Like I said, sugar is subjective. So at this point, you can continue to add more sugar. Looking at it now that I'm done, it looks like it's still too light. Like I should have added more sugar to it. But I like this texture. And this is how I was able to layer the colors up. And it really looks nice. Um, I love it. It's a very nice, nice color. <laughs> So this is it. We can make this and we can sell. Like I said, this is a bit light. So you can add more sugar if you want to. But that's how it looks like. And if your weather conditions are not good, this one I said that you can have the oils floating on top simply by virtue of the combinations and the weather conditions uh, in your area. But that's how our sugar scrub looks like. It's a very light scrub. It's beautiful. And I love the fragrance oil that we used for this. It's, you can easily it's so simple to scoop it's so nice i love it i love the texture let's give it a try on our skin and see how it looks like and feels like and it's easily washes off that's another thing so that's not one of those tacky you finish and then your whole skin is oily there's nothing wrong with that but 
that's how it applies it's just emulsifies once it comes in contact with water it emulsifies and then you can easily wash off you see and because we don't really have a lot of sugar and then you see it spreads evenly so you can rub nicely and you know scrub your skin beautifully and it's actually also very gentle let me say that this is not a scrub for the face this is for the body we will not use sugar scrub on our face unless you mail it finely again so i would advise that we use this just for the body but that's how it applies that's how it washes off it just washes off easily leaving your skin smooth soft and moisturized no dryness no tackiness nothing